Well, with the introduction of uh, Service Pack 8 to Blackboard Learn, we've got some new functionality in the system that uh, is kind of hidden here and there in the courses, but uh, one of the things that's actually quite nice is Blackboard is now including, uh, turned on by default, the uh, what they call the Quick Setup Guide for instructors first entering a course. Now, let me reassure you that when students go into a course, even if the Quick Setup Guide is on, they're just going to see the same course that they're used to seeing, however you have it set up. But when an instructor goes into a course for the very first time, uh, you'll see this guide pop up by default. And it has access to some of the new functionality and uh, things kind of aggregated that you might care about the first time into a course. Now, the first screen that shows up has some help information. There's information about using Blackboard. This is all links to Blackboard generated resources, including their whole on-demand learning center with, you know, videos and documents and things to help you. Uh, but then also we have a link to the uh, Palomar Blackboard support right there on that screen. So if you come into a course and then you can't really remember what it was you wanted to do and you need help, you can just hit this link and, and get help from us. Okay, so the very first thing I want to tell you is this box will pop up the first time you go in as an instructor in your course, and it will keep popping up every time you go into your course until you check this box down here in the lower left corner that says Hide Quick Setup Guide When I Enter This Course. Okay, Now, you're going to be tempted to do that the first time into the course and then never come back and look at it. That might not be a good idea, as you'll see in a little bit, but if you wanted to, you could check that box, say Apply Changes, and then when you leave the course and go back in again, that Quick Setup Guide's not going to show up for you. Now you can manually bring it back on the Customization menu. Here's the Quick Setup Guide again, and it just comes back. Um, so again, I, I mentioned this first screen has help resources. There have been two new uh, instructor abilities granted for courses called Course Themes and Course Structures, which not this but another uh, entry we'll, we'll talk about in more detail. Um, but the Course Themes can all be controlled from right here on the Quick Setup Guide, and that's basically abilities to, to choose a, a theme a st colors and patterns and styles for your course. Again, more on that elsewhere. And then the course structure, uh, this is a quick way to choose between the different uh, structural samples that Blackboard has begun including. Now they don't show up in your course by default, so this is something you'd have to manually opt into. But through the years, we've had faculty say, can't you give me some samples of a course that I could tear apart and rebuild the way I want? Well, now Blackboard gives you exactly that based upon a whole bunch of different concepts, uh, activity-based, communication-based, content-based, which is probably how most courses are arranged right now in my experience. Um, and then even if you're used to some other system's way of doing it, maybe you came from a, an angel background, uh, you might want to change over to that sort of a structure because it'll feel more familiar, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, that's all nested away under course structure. The colorful stuff is under course themes, and the default screen gives you some help information and a link straight to support. So that is the quick setup guide. And then whenever you check that box and say apply changes, it'll get out of your way. It'll let you work in the course, but you can always get it back again right off of the customization menu.